Hi there, good morning and well afternoon now isn't it? Um, welcome to Art Through a Lens. Uh, my name's Trudy and I'm going to be walking you through, um, hopefully anyway if it works out, um, a cityscape. This is uh, Newcastle and um, I've done this picture, well not this picture, but Newcastle scenes uh, a few times. I did rain um, and things like that. So I've been asked um, of a few people if I'd like be able to show you how I create some of my um, city scenes. Um, so this was taken early morning when the fog was over the Tyne and over the, the bridge as you can see, I love it. Um, I'm going to remove this here, I think it's a paper cup on the pavement. Um, so I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm just going to make a copy, which is Control and J, and that will make a copy for you there. I am going to go over to the lasso tool, click on that, and then just go around the paper cup. So you see the marching ants all around it. Right click inside there, go on to fill. Contents, content aware should be shown there. Okay, so content aware, colour adaption, normal, 100% and then you just press OK and there you go and then Control and D just to stop your selection there and you can go around just tidying up little bits that you don't want there. You can do this um, other ways as well with the stamp tool, um, also the patch tool but I do prefer um, the fill, I just find it really good. So there you go, Control and D. All right, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing here. I am hoping it works out for you because not every cityscape works out. Sometimes it can be too busy or it's hiding a lot of the things that you want to be on show and um, some aren't easy to do. Okay, but it's just try another one, try another one, try another one. And uh, so I'm just going to get in there. I keep all my textures in my library here. I've just made this one today, Funky Look. Uh, so I might try some of that later on. Um, this I made yesterday, Watercolour Wishes. So I'm going to try some of those as well. Smooth Skies, uh, Smooth Skies, I'll speak. Smooth Skies 3 is always excellent anyway. Because uh, that they're all soft tones and um, bright tones. So that they're quite good to add over your cityscapes or any landscape images. So let me have a look. In fact, first I'm going to make it a painterly image before I even start. So how, how I start mine now when I'm doing a cityscape, I'll go on to filter, filter gallery. And make sure the eyes ticked. Okay, this is what I usually use sometimes. Uh, but they're not on at the moment because the eye isn't um, lit up there so as soon as you see the eye symbol that's the um, how to change things for the dry brush mine's already set up so it's a 10 a 10 and a 1 and it just gives you if I zoom in for you just gives you that broken soft painterly feel just like you've done it as a watercolor so that starts you off really well as well. Okay, so we'll press OK to that. And that's changed it now on my screen. So now I'm going to, I don't, I don't have a clue what colours I'm looking for. I um, don't know if I want it to be a night scene yet with bright lights or a day scene. So all I'm doing is drag in from my library my textures over there and go through my blend modes. And I'm just looking for anything really. Um, I mean, that's nice. I always like multiply. You're looking for the foreground or something on the building, something on the sky, something in wherever you want it to be. Overlay. If you're not sure on if it's done any changes at all to that image, you can always uh, click on and off. And it shows you. So I like the cooler tone to that pulled it down a bit but we don't stop there we'll go all the way down but just remembering that overlay I did like I 
Okay. I'm going to stick with overlay there. And there you go. You can go to any others that you feel. So I might try that one as well. This is Smooth Skies 3 collection that I'm using here. My cat's coming up meowing at me now. I do like that warm glow there. That's multiply again for you. I do like that hard light as well. That's quite nice. I'm going to just take down the fill slightly. Let's see what's... Yeah, so I like that. I don't even need to remove it anywhere at the moment because it's given me light on the building and also a bit of colour in the sky, so I'm liking that at the moment. What I'm going to do is drag this one over. I'm thinking of this colour being at the bottom, so if I just rotate it 180 degrees, that's right clicking on there and rotate, we can see what this does as well. Might not bring anything to the scene, but it may do as well. So you never know until you try. So I like that. So let's go up and try. Don't know if any of my wacky scenes or my funky look things will look okay on this type of cityscape. But I haven't had a go with them yet, so I thought I'd um, just see if it gives me anything anywhere. See, I love how all these, you know, the, the lamppost and the bike and everything stands out against that. But in Newcastle, the main thing people like is the bridge, which that covers. I'm liking the yellow look as well now. I'm going to choose that and then go down to the uh, oblong box with the circle in which is add layer mask. I'm just going to get my pen tool, change my brush to a normal brush, take it down to the 40s opacity and flow. Make sure it's black because that square is white and just remove that where you don't want it. So I don't want it there. I don't want that line going through my bridge. I don't want this grey here. And I certainly don't want this foreground here. So I'm going to take all that out. You can increase your opacity and your flow to do this quicker, but I just like to do it at steady. steady amount so it's not too harsh and it blends in a little bit better same as there make that smaller and blend that in just like you blend in a watercolour make your brush big just so you can sweep over the, the sky area so you don't have any harsh lines So now on and off with that, you can see it's not made too much changes now, but it's there, it's there. So let's carry on. It's all about what are we looking for and just try anything 
because you never know what a certain texture is going to give you some look like you think oh i've never used that but sometimes it gives you something so that they are all worth trying believe me see that softened the look and it's given me something at the front can you see so if on and off it's given me like more of a painterly feel so but what i'm gonna do is take it away where I don't want that look to be which is on the buildings, the bridge okay so more or less I've, I've just kept it in this area there because that's where I liked it and I think there's a little bit left just in the top right hand corner so let's carry on it's as easy as this you just apply a texture and that's your paints and um, you just keep on going purple you want to think of trying purple would you but it might give you just that hint of color where you need it or it might be totally rubbish and you end up dragging it in the bin but that's fine that's what it's all about you're creating something and you never know what's going to look good and if you just go looking at textures and you think oh that's rubbish you're never ever gonna um, try anything and change anything and see what things do you're all worth having a go I chose that one there because I just like um, just a, a slight little crack in the pavement it just gives it some texture there and also some uh, well, the colours to go into the scene you can always um, if it's too strong but you still like the effect you can always just take the fill tool down fill tool can't speak today but I do like it a little bit darker okay now there's pictures of uh, some rain on glass or rain techniques now I got those from um, Unsplash so on Unsplash you can actually um, use them and uh, you just type in what you're looking for and it'll give you um, anything you like so uh, usually say like this one drag it over and it just gives you some lovely effects gives you a wet scene straight away as well as some colour so that one's nice I'm just in decreasing the fill to a little bit because I don't want it that strong just want that effect of like a blurriness so there you go so what I'm going to do is add layer mask I'm just gonna because that one's bugging me there it's a bit too strong it's a bit out of place just that one there just remove where you don't want it paint them out that's all you gotta do so already that's looking like a lovely wet scene and I'm just gonna carry on because I do sometimes I can overdo it I think but I, I like my images so um, as long as I'm happy that's that's the main thing you go with what you like you go with what you want to create or you feel looks right remember you're just looking for it somewhere not everywhere you're lucky if you get it everywhere <laughs> and you don't have to remove anything rarely happens so I'm not happy with that so drag it down to the bin 
and we choose another one. Now maybe I could soften it up with one of my other sky collections. That's a nice colour, I like that. You can um, easily use these as well as your um, sky replacements. They work fantastic in that. I mean, that gives a beautiful night scene, doesn't it? I mean, you could choose that and just decrease the fill tool just to give you an idea of what it looks like. That's beautiful, isn't it? And if you just took that crackling off, you know, I do like that. Let's just increase that a little bit more. I'm into really bright oranges and blues and um, my favourite colours, you know, for cool and warmth um, on an image. I just decrease the opacity a little bit. So let's see if that, that gives me, just frames the, the image now. And that does look like a painting. I'm just going to see, add a layer mask. I'm just going to see if I am at 41%, 41% flow on my brush tool. I'm just going to see if I can lighten this building just a little bit by taking some off. I've got a trick as well, I'll show you now that's not actually lightening up and I know it's supposed to be in shadow because the sun's obviously coming in this direction hitting the left hand side but because I want it to be a bit warmer there instead of dark and dingy looking I'm just going to add a bright orange okay and I'm just gonna just place that over just in places and then go on your blend moulds again. Scroll down. You can see on overlay there, that's given it a nice glow. Because it would be getting a little bit of glow. So you just paint more in where you need it or you think it would look okay. And even do it on the, the car you can even do it more on the building here you can do it wherever you want to make it just brighter and nice bright colors see so that was it before and that's that I've just brined up some areas there so I'm quite happy with that texture wise okay so I'm now just gonna go on the square with the plus sign and that's to create a new layer so this is where I'm gonna go onto my brushes and hopefully I've got that many brushes Got some water brushes and dry brushes somewhere. Just bear with me while I find them. I should have had them ready really before starting.
This isn't good when you can't find your brushes, is it, really? Water, water, water. Paint splash. Let's go back to the beginning. Three watercolour brushes. So I do apologise, I should have had all these just ready. Maybe be able to do it with that. I can see anyway, I can have a go. So just do, you're choosing a colour now. So I always put my swatches over here. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go up to the lamp I'm going to choose that colour I'm just going to paint the lamp in and just do it gradually like that Uh, a bit more yellow in the middle on the outsides and a bit more white in the middle there and then you just go white it's just blending in like you do with paints okay so that's now showing uh, that's the front of the car so that can also go a bit whiter as well So it's like showing a glare. You can even go on your blend modes. You can see it changing all the time. And you're just looking at what you think looks more realistic. I'm going to go with lighter colour. And while you're on this brush, seeing as it's early morning, you know, um, and it's raining, there's a few cars around, um, you can actually lighten up some of the windows just to show that there's a bit of light, someone in there, um, go on more yellows, and go over here. And the looser you are, you are with this, um, it makes it appear more like a painting as well then okay I'm gonna go up and open a new layer there just in case I want it to change and do something different but it's, it's just all about playing about I love it even make some blue you know because you don't know what's uh, reflecting in that window might be blue sky over on the right hand side and that's what you'd see there reflecting in there 
and there. It always looks weird when you're pouring it on, but believe me, when you when I zoom back out, it'll look okay. And then here, probably a bit darker, a darker blue, darker blue there. Put some more blue in there. Can make those darker up there. You're just giving a softer look and like it has been painted really. Do some shadows. Shadows there. You can put that more in shadow. It's endless what you can do really. And it's just all about choosing a little paintbrush. You could even do it with your normal paintbrush and just make it a little circle. And um, that's all it's about. You're just making the shadows on where it would be, just like you do on a painting. Just little dabs, and then you can go down your blend modes and see which one. Is the better one for you? I'm going to go on lighter colour. I'm just going to zoom back out. Sometimes my zoom out doesn't actually work. Oh, in fact, I've just seen those. Let's highlight those a little bit. Highlight that one. And you're just playing about really. You could even change the colour of the car. You could do anything. There's nothing stopping you. You can actually make it thinner. Just so there's like little lines. Lines there. even take your time and do it really really well so you're a lot neater than I'm doing it now this is just showing like light reflection really on the glass of the windows and then what I'm going to do I'm going to change to a normal brush there because I want to give this lamp some glow so I'm going to choose a warmer yellow And I'm going to make sure uh, you've got a big soft brush. So you go slightly bigger than the lamp. Press on it. Slightly bigger again. Press on it. Slightly bigger again. Press on it. And then go white. And then start low again. Small. And then do the same again. Medium. And bigger. And it just gives that uh, impression there's a slight glow there you can do the same with the car light because there would be a slight glow you can do the same on the windows coming out of the window a little bit like that just in the direction the light would come out like that and it just it makes you see those little touches there now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into this. Uh, these people with an umbrella. Um, I just found those off Unsplash. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them out. So to do that, I choose Quick Selection Tool. I have it on the plus sign there. Okay, on the middle one. Enha enhanced Edge and I select subject so it's automatically selected them but obviously it's missed his umbrella and it's missed his feet so that's why I choose this one here with the plus so it shows me the plus sign in the circle you see there so I can then just go inside the line and push that up to where I want it to to notice there you go it's gone over but that's fine okay and then I just click 
on this, which is your new layer mask. So it cuts it out for you. So now I know it's a bit the bit blurred the images on on splash, but they're okay if you're using them as we do. Okay. So then I choose the eraser tool. And we need to choose it to white because the background's black and make it hard so you get a nice hard edge. And this is fun to do as well. It's just like you're cutting it out and you're making, you're only having in your picture what you want to have in your picture. Okay, so you're just cutting round him. Not wanting that lady there either. So we're going to cut round her. Cut round that. Take all that out. Take any messiness away. Tidy the edges up. Go smaller to go in between the gentleman's legs. It's okay about there. I'll take that off. And I think he's fine. Yeah, I think he's fine. So then all I do then is go on my move tool and I just get hold of it and I drag it to my scene. So they're very small there, so Control and T. I'm hoping they look okay because they're very pixelated, aren't they? So I might have to have them in the distance. Got to try and judge the size of them compared to what's about. These might not actually work if they're going to stay that pixelated, but we'll soon see as soon as I let them go. Not sure about the size there. Just keep moving them round. Or I could have them even smaller to vanish there. But he looks too small for being there. Or I could just have the one. So whoever you think works in your scene Click on that, see how oh, that's not too bad. So I think I'm liking this figure here, but I don't want him. So what I'm going to do is go on there. Click the brush tool. And I'm going to rub him out. Rub him out of my scene. I don't want him anymore. <laughs> and that's all you're going to do. It didn't work. There were wrong angles together to fit in my scene. So just make sure it's all disappeared. And we've just got this one. So now we're going to just zoom in to this figure. I'm just going to make a small brush, keeping on the brush tool to erase. And we're just going to soften round the edges. Just go all around the edges. Hardly touching him. You're just taking that harsh line away. And you make him appear like he's there. Okay. 
when you zoom out and click on the figure again there go on control and l for levels and you can make him darker you can make his umbrella highlights like it's in the light there so it's now blending in a little bit more and what you can also do is just blur him slightly because he's obviously moving so he wouldn't be as sharp as that it looks a bit too sharp for the rest of the image because everywhere else is soft so you go on your blur gallery well your blur and then Gaussian blur and you just want to blur him a little bit so that's brilliant okay that's fantastic there yeah so I'm gonna just add another layer there where I'm gonna use my brush tool I'm just gonna take my uh, eyedropper tool there and I want this colour here around the lamp so I'm just sampling that colour go back to my brush tool and just put some of this on the top of the umbrella I'll just zoom in for you okay so it looks like it's getting hit by the light around him go on your blend modes and that one's looking brilliant isn't it and it's just giving him some glow we'll even put some on his jeans to make another layer new layer to put that color there and then go down to see what suits his clothing let's do that but not as much and not as harsh so you're just reducing your fill your fill tool and also the opacity on things could even do with some there just put any highlights you want where you'd think you know right there obviously some would be hitting the post from the, the lights and it'd be shining on that and it's all about just making it's all about light and shadow you'd have a lot of light coming in you'd have some shining on the bike just in places Right in here so we'll zoom back out so I'm loving that I think I might just do a bit more of a glow so another layer there soft brush bigger brush and just move it round in a circular movement like that and that just give, gives it some gorgeous light remember as well we would have a bit of a shadow on the man so what we do there is we would or would it be easier let me think no I'll tell you what I'm going to do I am going to make another layer choose black 
start off just there. Obviously there'd be a bit of shadow there as well. Blend, go through your blend modes. That's a better one, overlay. Because overlay, it still shows what's underneath as well. So it does make it all And you're just doing that, putting in a bit of a shadow in where you think it'd be. It'd be in that direction because the light's there, it's hitting his umbrella there. All that would be cast in a shadow. You can put some shadows everywhere else as well. Just like you would if you've ever painted. When you're making it appear like it's early morning or late evening, coming home from work, going home for his tea, just finished work or something like that. Reduce the opacity, don't want it that dark. Want it under his feet more. And then on the shadow, you want to go to Gaussian Blur. And you want to blur that shadow a little bit. There you go. And I'm just going to make another layer just to make it darker just there. Make it small so you can see your eyes can focus on everything the further away you are from it so now what i'm going to do is add some rain for you so rain do, 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 do. let me just find this now i think they're at the bottom yes so rain choose rain choose a whitish color low opacity low flow so 40s to start with and smaller when you first do this okay and then you just place it everywhere so you can just see it there I'll show you have some more there in the dark area showing and you can change your rain as well bigger so increase now, go on to another layer, open another layer, increase the opacity, increase the fill, the flow, and go bigger. And then decrease the opacity on that. And decrease the opacity on the other one. You want it to look realistic so it's all about decreasing and getting it just right there you go so I love that so what I'm gonna do is flatten my image because I'm happy I'm totally happy with that change my brush tool back to that and what I'm going to do here is just show you it with a canvas around it just to give you an idea of how it looks with a board around it a mount and I just think it always completes that final image so there you go everyone I'm sorry it was a long video um, it is all about painting um, things in, adding a person that wasn't there and blending him into the image to make him appear like he is there. Adding lights um, to the cars, the lampposts, um, 
making things bright and um, pop out um, you could even go I'm just gonna add a layer because I've just noticed something there you could go back to that traffic light getting the right green and um, going into there making that bright making that brighter going on to white dabbing that on and dabbing that on and it, it just makes them pop out a little bit more it's all about playing and that's what you that's what you do if, if you step back and you think that's not bright enough you can add some more because obviously that lamppost is it in those windows or people could actually be in there with bright lights on and it's just giving that impression um, of a, a street scene at night and it's what you've got to you know it's what you got to do and you've just got to play around them with the blend mode just to blend it in a little bit better there so it's not as um, heavy a bright light there you can even make that bigger and you just finish it off until you're 100% happy with that okay so I'll leave it there I don't know what I'm going to call this one but it's lovely so I'm going to be framing that for my stall on Saturday so I've made two two more collections uh, yesterday please have a look at them I've got 15% off absolutely everything on my website at the moment that's all my fine art prints and also my texture collections uh, the new ones I have just made are funky look so you can go wild and wacky um, they're brilliant for like um, portrait shots your own backgrounds still life um, anything like that and then you can even blur imagine these colors blurred in the background that'd look fantastic um, and you can you can do absolutely anything add a bit of color to, to a scene like this like I put one of those on here um, it doesn't mean you've got that wacky design look going all over your image it it just means you, you're picking up something where you want something so like the bright color of the orange there it added some interest and and things like that so that's what you're looking for it doesn't mean you, you your pictures gonna look wacky um, and funky like the actual texture does my other collection I made yesterday was watercolour wishes, so it's a lot of watercolours there, splashes, marks, uh, bleeds, you know, and blending in and things like that. And my beautiful Smooth Skies 3 collection. Fantastic for doing images like this, all, all my collections. Three Smooth Skies collections I've got, and they're all brilliant to give you these colours and the soft look. Okay, so go and give it a go. I want to see everyone trying some of these cityscapes by adding a bit of rain some people i mean you're lucky if you go out there and there's some people and it's raining i've got to wait for it raining and get out there seeing loads of people with umbrellas at the right time of night in the evening uh, which it's not happening at the moment so i've got to make my own and um you just keep doing it you keep keep go having a go and believe me you'll get there and you'll make your own piece of rainy art and rainy atmospheres and it's brilliant and the colors are just beautiful i like in this because it's got the blues it's got the oranges it's got the warm and cool tones so i'm totally happy thank you again for watching sorry it's taken so long uh, for me to get an image out there for you and show you how to complete one of my cityscapes um street scenes uh with the rain and the glow of the lights but there you go it is a long video and i'm still waffling on um, i never know when to shut up do i but uh, enjoy yourself get creating it's 15 percent off my website at the moment just all you have to do is enter the code um e o t h end of the month 15 okay see e o t h uh, e o t m end of the month <laughs> god i'm going crackers old age for you um, and uh, I'm advertising it anyway it's only on for a limited time it's only on for a few more days only started today the sale um, so get cracking get creating tag me in your images I'd love to see them and I'll see you all soon and I hope you enjoy this video please subscribe also if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more uh, 
message me and give me ideas on what you want me to create or like to create as well uh, I'm happy to do so if I can okay so ring the bell so you don't miss a video and subscribe that will really 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 help support me okay thank you so much bye bye